Hi guys, I look so freaking busted, it's not even funny. I am vlogging, first of all, which I never do anymore. We have so much to catch up on, it's kind of crazy. I'm about to take my dog for a walk because she's like kind of obese <laughs> and we need to fix that before she explodes. We're gonna do that. We're gonna take my dog, her name is Maggie, she's a fat beagle for a walk and then i'm going out and you guys have been asking for like fall content i've like been doing fall stuff but i just haven't thought to record it because honestly it's really hard to vlog with school now because i feel like the vlogs are so repetitive like oh i'm going to school i'm going to the gym shut up you know like how many times am i going to tell you guys that by the way i'm wearing my black yeezys <laughs> i have become like a yeezy whore I love Yeezys now. God, I look so busted. I literally like just woke up and I haven't washed my face because I knew I was going to be walking Maggie and then I'm going to come back and get ready. But yeah, I just wanted to like say hi. And obviously I think when I get back from the walk, we're going to have like a little life chat and like catch up. I just feel like not out of it. Like I'm very motivated to make videos, but almost like so busy that I feel rushed. Like even with this vlog, I feel very like rushed and like almost like I have to do it when you're vlogging it's almost like you feel like you have to be entertaining and it almost takes you out of the moment of like what you're doing i did a lot of fall stuff this weekend like earlier and i was just like if i record this like it's gonna become like a chore you know what i mean but i know you guys want vlogs and i really want to reconnect and make vlogs because it is fun for me i just it's hard to do it every week you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm gonna go walk maggie i look like a freaking boy and i'll be back so yeah all right guys i'm back from the walk and i just did like i don't know if this is like just something i do but when i don't want to get my hair wet because it's still looking good i'll like go take a shower but use the bath as like my shower just so i don't get my hair wet because whenever i put my hair up or like in a shower cap like it still gets wet so i just go under the bath and i know that's weird but i don't care i'm getting ready and i'm gonna go probably ship some orders some crystal orders and then probably go to some stores because i like to just like look around honestly by the way this will be like a mini makeup tutorial because this is how i do like my everyday just don't look busted makeup so first of all for moisturizer i literally just use like this face oil sometimes i'll mix like a drop of this foundation in it and make like a tinted moisturizer so i did that for my eyebrows i've been using this brand called a hundred percent pure and it's like all clean vegan ingredients or at least clean i know some stuff isn't vegan but this is vegan and it's like this brow gel and it looks very fancy so i've been using that to do my eyebrows they look okay you know like they're not bad my lips are so freaking dry but i'm doing a lip scrub this is cranberry fizz from lush and then i like to go in and do a lip liner so this is kylie's dolce k and it's so funny because that's my puppy's name so really living the Dolce life. Shut up. I lightly outline like that. And then I just got, sometimes I'll use this. This is 100% pure as well, but I just got the Kylie lip gloss and I've never tried her high glosses, but I really wanted this one because I'm like very into, I don't know if you guys remember the MAC Dazzle Glass. This reminds me of that because of the glitters in it. It's like rainbow glitters. So I'm going to use that. Let's talk about Kylie. Not Kylie, but her makeup. This thing came, it's like half empty. And listen, I I know, can you even see that? Ew, do you see that? It's like, look at all that space right there. I know it's probably because like the way the wand goes in and like the way it works, but I've never seen a more empty lip gloss. She's putting the bare minimum in that, let me tell you. The actual product is good. It's nice, I guess, but that's what I do for my lips literally every day. Like, I don't care if I'm not wearing makeup. I need my lips to look lush. I'm just gonna put some beauty counter concealer on any red spots and call it a day. So guys, I'm very chill right now. Like usually I'm making like stupid jokes and stuff and being stupid, but I'm very chill right now because during my walk, I was just thinking when I make videos, it almost, I don't wanna say it 
feels like work because I like doing it, but lately it has because I've just been like worried about school and literally everything. Like it's not the fact that YouTube feels like work. I'm like, I have to do this YouTube thing now or else I won't be able to do this for school or whatever. And I'm just like, it's just kind of exhausting because I'm very like, I put pressure on myself because I'm like, I know that I can do this and I want to get this done. And I have like a lot of goals for the next year. I'm always just putting this pressure on myself, which is like, I really shouldn't because I'm very like believing in whatever you think is going to happen is probably going to happen. I don't know if that makes sense, but like, I just like to believe in stuff and then like just live my life and be present about it. And I feel like whatever is meant to happen does end up happening. I try not to worry, but I'm not over here worrying. It's more like I put pressure on it and then it like kills the fun. It's so like even this vlog, I'm like, okay, I have to get a vlog up because I tweeted. If you guys don't follow my Twitter, you should because this is like where you can really put in your input for the channel. I tweeted, I was like, I have a main video and I've been talking about this video for like weeks now of like this gaming video and it's like funny, you know, but I was like, I don't know, like, I just don't feel like I'm ready to put it up. Like, I don't know, I've just been really, like, off about it. I don't know why, because I'm not usually like that. But I think it's because I'm starting to overthink what I post and like what's best for the channel and where to invest my time because I don't have unlimited time like I did in the summer and I'm like this is just very important for me to get just like everything done and like be very strategic in a way because obviously I want my videos to do well but I don't want to like waste my time and like post a video just because I feel like I have to and that's kind of how I feel about the funny video like it is funny but I'm not like this is a masterpiece and I know this channel's supposed to be trash but <clears throat> it's supposed to be like good trash <laughs> like my unboxings they're not good unboxings but they're entertaining and they're like really fun and I want all my videos to feel that way I don't want it to ever feel like almost like a placeholder just because I feel like I have to post something so with this vlog I'm like is this vlog going to be like art for my channel no like it's just a vlog but you know what the thing with YouTube is everyone tries to like almost be perfect and even I try to do this because I want my stuff to be good but I know people want to see like real life stuff like I've had people asking like how did you start your website how did you like get started with YouTube I don't want to be like that girl who's like every other YouTube girl not saying I'm like special but I don't want to be like a YouTuber that just tries to be perfect you know or like entertaining all the time and that's fine like the people that really like ride or die for the channel and for me are gonna like this vlog other people are gonna be like I'm bored and they probably have already clicked out which is fine <laughs> it's fine I think I'm just like a little numb to it because you know when you're like trying to do a lot so you kind of just rush everything and then you're like I don't know it's kind of a blur I feel like my days are blurring together and same with the channel I'm just like my videos are all like blurring together I want to be more present in it and like when I'm editing I'm like I'm editing to get it done I'm not editing to like have fun editing even though I like doing it. Does that even make sense? It is work but I do it because I like it you know and not a lot of people like their job and this is my job at this point so it's like I'm very lucky but I just want to do it right because like it doesn't really mean anything if I'm not enjoying it and like present in my life you know i could have a million subscribers and it doesn't matter because i'm like i want to enjoy it you know what i'm saying and i was thinking this on the walk i don't know if you guys can tell but <laughs> i think very deeply when i take time to work out or like go on walks and just stuff like that like even in the car on the way to school because i do commute in the car i don't really listen to music i just like reflect <laughs> but I was reflecting on the walk. I'm like, listen, I don't do YouTube for attention or like to be famous. I couldn't really care less. Like, it's not that I don't want people to know who I am, but I didn't do this to be like famous. Like, I couldn't really care less if people like know me and want to like idolize me. I hope people can look up to me, but I'm not trying to be like famous. I don't know. Like, I would like to be almost like an icon for people. And that sounds cocky, but I mean, like, I want to be like a role model, not like someone that people idolize and they're like, oh my God, it's Sophia. Like, why? I don't know. I just, I never wanted to be that. But if I did become that, it would be because I'm like doing stuff 
to help others and like influence people to be better and stuff like that like people know me for what i do like the crystals are like my videos are funny or helpful you won't catch me acting like jake paul ever you know what i mean like i just don't i'm not like that i'm actually kind of shy and i've said this before in videos i'm actually kind of shy and i hate attention honestly like i've been doing youtube since i was like 10. obviously those videos weren't very good when i was 10 but i'm saying like i would stop because i'm like i don't want to get too big because i hate attention isn't that weird i don't know so even now to be almost at 50,000 subscribers like i never thought i would do that not because i didn't think i could but i was like i don't know if i want to do that because i just hate attention but i don't know where i'm going with this <laughs> The vlog is supposed to be like cute and folly and everything, but I do think the purpose of these vlogs is to connect with me, not to just like watch me live my day while you sit in your bed, <laughs> like most vlogs. Sorry if you're feeling called out. <laughs> Cause I do that, but I'm saying like, if I'm gonna post a vlog, I want it to at least have some substance. You know what I'm saying? Like at least get to know me and like have it be something that supplements the channel. Not every video has to be a f***ing masterpiece. And that's the pressure I'm putting on myself because of the goals I have and like what I want to do with the channel. Cause the channel I started, cause I like YouTube and making videos, but I started it to have a platform to like almost like make a difference not to sound like a freaking humanitarian bitch, but it's true like i did youtube to be able to like reach people and like with the views and the money like being very transparent i can do more with like my businesses which i built my businesses like camarda crystals with the purpose of helping people you know what i'm saying like i want to be so well off with what i'm doing that i can like help others and not just live to like support my rent and my kids one day you know what i'm saying like i want to do it all and i feel like that's the problem with like today everyone kind of like works for themselves which is fine but i think we should all be a little more mindful like how we're spending our time because if we were just like a little more ambitious and a little more like caring and aware of stuff going on i think the world would be a better place. So yeah, I mean, that's it. Like not to bore you, but like that's why I started YouTube. Like it's fun and I like to make stupid videos, but I think it takes a certain level of like almost self-awareness, but like, I don't want to say intelligence cause that sounds cocky, but like, I know I'm not actually just like the personality you see in videos. Like I'm actually very analytical and a little bit calculated. Like I'm not gonna lie, but with good intent, like I don't do this i didn't say i'm gonna do youtube to make money i did it for the fulfillment of myself and where it can lead so yeah and i know like in today's day it's like people want to be like oh you just do youtube videos but like look what it can do for people's lives you know what i'm saying like this is a new lifetime and like a lot of people wanted to like doubt me not trying to say like oh all the haters doubted me like it wasn't that serious but obviously people are like oh like what are you gonna do with your life all this stuff and i'm like honestly like i want to be like a businesswoman, and i'm doing youtube as almost like my stepping stone and to show people what i'm about while having fun so yeah and like now that it's doing well i'm just like damn like the sky is the limit so i can make a video on tips and like how i started and like what i've found works and everything but truly like i don't know i'm just very like deep thinking lately because i've been like kind of out of it so when i get out of it, I need to get back in it. Does that make sense? But I'm trying to keep more balance in my life and be like consistent while still being like present because I hate routine, but I need routine to like do well. So I'm very much struggling <laughs> because I hate routine. We'll be fine. So anyway, this is my daily makeup for when I'm like going to class, going around running errands. Like this is all I do. By the way, that mascara was 100% pure maracuja oil. So I'm gonna go to the store. I'm gonna try to vlog while I'm out, but if not, I'll show you guys at least like if I get anything or like where I go. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna go shopping now and try to like clear my mind. Hi guys, I look freaking busted once again. I literally just rolled out of bed and it's like, okay, it's 11.30. I thought it was earlier, but it's not. Once again, have not washed my face. I'm literally wearing makeup from yesterday. <laughs> I suck. I'm in my closet. This is literally my Camarda Christmas 
crystal's office everything that i do is in this box this is why i need a place to stay because i need to set up an office like or at least a desk this is not professional however i wanted to give you an inside scoop on how i run kamarta crystals so like i'm making orders right now i wanted to show you guys how i do it and give you like a behind the scenes on like how i do it and what i do so i'm gonna give you like the steps of what i do on a typical order hold on i'm finishing up this last one and then we'll start a new order and i'll show you guys like from start to finish what i do by the way here's our logo i drew this on my ipad <laughs> and i printed it on sticker paper everything's done by me i'm very artistic like even with the website and like the pictures everything is done by me but um that's how your package is gonna come it has like the logo as like a seal um i don't want to show this person's name or anything but it just comes in like this white envelope and they used to come with no address because i didn't want to like give out my house address and i didn't have a business location obviously but i just got a p.o box for the crystal orders because i want to make sure things aren't getting lost in the mail because it can't be sent back to me if it does get lost or something happens so i decided it's time to get a p.o box even if you guys want to return something you can use that address but anyway let's get into how i make an order so first of all i have my laptop next to me and i can see like the back end of the website for example this person ordered a moonstone bundle which is like two of the choker necklaces if you don't know about like the products we sell we sell bracelets and then like choker necklaces there's a one bead version and then a three bead version or you can get the bundle and have both of the choker styles which that's a very popular option like a lot of people do that and then we have limited edition necklaces that are going away on december 1st well the last day to order will probably be november 30th so yeah but anyway so this person ordered the bundle i have the invoices next to me and i print them out make sure they didn't put in like a certain special size because people like to customize the size so this person did like the standard 14 inch length so what i do i get my measuring tape guys literally don't rip me off I'm not gonna go too into detail with like how I make it, but I have this string and we just switched to a different string. It used to be more of like a shiny, almost like nylon material. This one's more of like a earthy, strong, like a little tighter, less bendy string, if that even makes sense. I think it's like a hemp string, but I measure it out. I literally use nail clippers, don't worry, they're like new to cut this because it's way easier than scissors. And then I just tie a little not but yeah these are all handmade by me like if you get a choker or like anything from the website i made it with my bare hands <laughs> yeah usually i play music while i do this and make it kind of like a soothing thing that i do so this person got moonstone and here's all of my moonstone which i really have to get more but i look at it and pour them out i look for the prettiest one because i don't want to jip you guys i just look at them and i'm like which one speaks to me moonstone is one of my favorites honestly it's so pretty to me so i string it on tie another knot so here's the one bead and that's how that is made or put together do you see that this iphone quality is not coming in clutch right now but that's the moonstone and then i'll go in and make sure each side is even and cut anything that's like too long then i put on like the little clasp thing so that's like the hook that goes on it there's like these end cap things that go on each end and as you can see like i'm or Organized, but it's not like like I would love for all these to be in a drawer in a desk not like in a ziploc bag you know what I mean like I'm just so ready to spread out I'm not gonna go too into detail on like how I make everything because I think you guys mainly just want to see like how I put together the orders and like what's gonna come in your order and like just how I run everything not really like how to make a necklace yeah so this part I'm gonna kind of speed through so the necklace is made and now I'm gonna take it and 
and it's latched together so this is the final necklace like when you order one of the chokers this is what you get so it has a clasp in the back like this the front is obviously like just the stone i have a folder and i just started doing this maybe a couple months ago these are cards that the necklace comes in it used to literally come in like tissue paper but now we have professional cards and i made these online on like a website and i just printed it on cardstock and so yeah i designed this for every single stone that we have and then at the end like on the bottom there's a description on like the properties of moonstone and everything and it's all color coordinated and it says one bead choker on it so we have a lot of custom cards for each product and this just makes it more put together like the packaging if this was sold in a store i would want it like on a card you know so i'm just trying to make it a little more professional if you can see i have a paper cutter here and i try to make it just really straight <laughs> I'm kind of aggressive with it. This just makes them really good looking, you know? So now we've got the card. We take the card and I take my scissors and just go and cut like a slit in it on each side and then feed the necklace through the slit. So now it's like sitting in the card like this, as you can see. And then I just go in and kind of twist it so it can stay in place. And then I will tape it down in the back. I go in with these bags and these are like the same color as our logo and like I guess company color not exactly I got these off Etsy but they're like a light blue so I put the card inside the bag then do a little of that that's what you're getting this is your choker very cute she also got the three bead so I'm gonna do that speed through that and then I'll come back after I finish those and show you guys what I do after like the products are done and you'll see how I assemble each package so yeah hold on okay guys so this is the three bead by the way if you were curious except we call it the classic but i call it the three bead just so i can like remember i'm wrapping that up as well this is what this person ordered they got the bundle so now what i do is i take a card and guys i literally just ran out of these cards but i had like pumpkin spice themes like really folly looking cards but i literally just ran out on the last order i did so I have backup. These are just like a white, almost like a soft touch matte card, just very plain, but they are really modern and like nice looking. But I'll go in and write everyone like a personalized note, just thanking them for supporting the business and everything. And I just think that's really nice that they know like I am involved and I'm seeing that they're supporting it and everything. And usually I'll be like, thank you for your order. I hope you like whatever they ordered and stuff like that. This is Brooke's order if you're watching this. Hello, Mrs. Brooke. I'm making your order on the vlog today. <laughs> you're famous. So I'll write a cute note like this. Hello, Brooke. <laughs> and then I obviously put it in the envelope. I never lick the envelopes because I think that's disgusting, but I'll write her name on the back. Interesting handwriting choice, but what I do to seal these is I'll use either tape or stickers. To give it a fall vibe, I have these like fall pumpkin stickers. Sometimes I'll switch it up and give people these leaf stickers, but I'll literally just put it like right in the middle and that will keep it closed. So that's like a cute detail. So this is her thing thank you note. So then I take, this is the envelope we use. It comes in like a little bubble mailer. Our shipping in the U.S. is very cheap because it doesn't have to be tracked because this is technically like mail since it's so little. And people do ask me like, oh, where's the tracking? Like, how can I see my order? You can level up your shipping if you want tracking, but I just wouldn't recommend it because it's like, they come very quick usually. Once it's shipped, it should come like within the week. So I put that in there. I put in your invoice which is like your receipt and then the thank you note i will put in the two things that this girl ordered and then for the fall stuff i've been putting in these like little pumpkin eraser things just like thrown in because it's like why not the people that ordered on launch day got like these like fall sticker packs i just try to throw like extra stuff in to say thank you but yeah if you order on launch day i will put in like a little surprise so keep that in mind for winter december 1st people so that's that and then i will just seal it by the way if you have kids or pets 
<laughs> if you have kids or pets, keep this away from them. Obviously, our packages have like small items in it. Just be careful of that because you don't want them to like choke on it or anything. And we do have that warning on the website, but like just saying that in the video. I just like to keep things cute. Let's keep it cute, you know? So then I'll print out your label at the post office and it will go here. And then here I'll put my address or PO box when I get it, probably tomorrow. These are going out today, so this isn't going to have an address on it. And usually that is fine. So as we started this clip with, I will put our logo on the package because I think it's important for people to see the logo. And it just adds like an official touch to it. Honestly, it doesn't feel so like I made this in my closet. You know what I'm saying? I just try to take like a very professional approach to the business, even though it's literally just me like selling stuff. It's not like an actual like office business. We have employees, but I do see that happening soon. Like I really do with the growth of like the business obviously i really do think i'm gonna have to hire just like someone to help me and i definitely need an office or at least a desk but that's a hundred percent happening next year my office tour will not be on kylie's level but it'll be cute again i will seal this and then put my name on it and everything and in the middle just so i know when i'm going to the post office i'll write their first name so i'll just write quickly here brooke so when i go i can go into my online like interface and go see like her actual details and put the label over this but yeah this is what's gonna come in the mail if you order from me it's very like cute handmade just like cute obviously i don't know i just feel like it's very um i don't know the word it's very just like personal i guess i do this because i like doing it and i think it's a lot of fun it really is kind of like a hobby but i do see the potential for this to be like an actual big thing thank you to everyone that really has supported the business and just like what i do even if you don't buy anything just like thank you for being interested and supporting so that's another order being sent out today and then we move on to the next and I have like three more to do today so yeah I'm gonna do that I do have a yoga class later so I'll probably vlog me going to that because I just think yoga on Sunday is such a vibe and then I'm gonna edit this vlog tonight and hopefully get it up tonight because it's not anything special this vlog's like so zen honestly and just like laid back but I do think it's important to see like how I live my life that isn't just like here's me shopping here's me like doing this same nonsense you know this is like really what i do when i'm like busy honestly this is how i mostly live my life is like just doing business stuff and school stuff and just like working out stuff like that my life isn't that exciting but it is productive so that's that i know i look freaking busted but what are you gonna do bye <laughs> hi still kind of busted but at least i'm clean my orders are sitting next to me because i'm shipping them i'm about to go to yoga here's my little yoga outfit I'm gonna drive now. Hi guys, I'm back from yoga. I'm very zen right now. It was actually kind of hard today, honestly. Some are really easy classes, but like with this girl, it's always like a little bit challenging. And by a little bit, I mean pretty freaking hard, honestly. Like if I brought someone else, like a beginner yoga person, like Cameron, when I make him go to my yoga classes, like he dies. So yeah, <laughs> but it was really nice. I'm gonna go pick up some juice because I really wanted a green juice then i'm gonna go home and edit this vlog and hopefully it's not too boring but it's such a chill like weekend get my life in order type vlog obviously today's sunday tomorrow's monday i don't have school on mondays but i'm gonna just like use tomorrow to prepare for the week since this is like technically fall break but i am filming something tomorrow that's gonna be up friday so yeah but i want to be able to film more but it's so hard with school to get one video done and like have it be of quality but we'll figure it out anyway i'm gonna go get this juice and we'll see where the rest of the day takes us